What's going on, everyone? Chris from PickDogs.com here with your free pick in the UAB versus Temple college basketball matchup going down Sunday, March 17th, 2024. Just a reminder, if you haven't already, make sure you're subscribed to our channel and smash that thumbs up. And if you're looking for my best bets, the games that I love, including my daily $19 best bet, make sure that you head on over to PickDogs.com and click the Premium Picks tab at the top of the page. But let's get to this one between UAB and Temple. Oh, this is an interesting matchup considering recent events, but uh, you got the number four seed UAB Blazers, 93-83 victors over USF to get to the final, while uh, Temple took out FAU to continue their Cinderella run, 74-73 over the Owls, in the Battle of the Owls, I guess, and uh, now it's UAB and Temple, and like I said, the, the story from a couple weeks ago was, you know, some betting, uh, betting controversy going on in this game, and the, the spread jumping up a bunch of points close to tip off. Don't think that's going to be an issue here. At least I hope it wouldn't be. But either way, you know, you look at this matchup and, uh, you know, this is not, I, I can guarantee, you know, this is a matchup that a lot of folks do not have, you know, in the final EAAC tournament. You know, they always have that perfect bracket contest every year. Yeah, I could probably say this probably would have been in the decimals if somebody had this, uh, this as your final. But either way, you know, Temple squared off with UAB um, in the regular season. And it was uh, UAB winning the lone meeting between the two teams, 100 to 72. And uh, it wasn't all that close. And it was only, you know, about a week and a half ago where this game happened. And, um, you know, UAB just, just flat out dominated the, uh, the Owls in that game. They shot just under 63% from two point range. They hit 10 of 18 threes. They went 16 to 24 from the line temple. You know, they went 16 to 29 from two, but they shot eight of 21 from, uh, from, uh, from, from behind the arc. So big discrepancy in two point makes and in, uh, in three pointers made. And, uh, it was, it was just a complete game from, uh, from Temple in that one as well as, uh, Temple had just one offensive rebound compared to 10 for UAB and, uh, UAB out, outboarded the, uh, the Owls 41 to 19 in that game. So they obviously have to be better. Temple does if they're going to want to try to hang around in the championship game and potentially pull off the, the, the complete Cinderella run to make it through. So, but the thing is that there is, I think there is an avenue to success for both teams in this one. Um, you know, first for, for, um, for Temple, you know, the Temple percentages aren't great in conference play. They're 13th out of 14 teams in three point shooting. They're dead last in two point shooting. But the thing is, is that Temple shoots a high volume of threes. They're third in the conference in three-pointers attempted per game. And that's an area where you can attack UAB is out on the perimeter. UAB was given up the fourth highest um, three-point percentage to opposing conference, excuse me, opposing conference opponents and given up a fair fair number of points in those games as well. So I think Temple going to try to, you know, execute their game plan as they normally do, try to, you know, bombs away from the perimeter. While UAB, they get to the free throw line at a high rate. They're the best free throw shooting team in the conference at 75.7%. Temple, second worst in the conference in giving up free throws. And Temple, you know, they're weak on the interior. You know, Temple, 13th out of 14 teams in the AE, excuse me, AAC in uh, two-point defense. And UAB, fifth in two-point offense. So it's a temp, uh, an offense for UAB that relies on free throws and the two-point shot. 52.7% of UAB's points are coming inside the arc. So I think that the line is honestly right on. I think you could definitely make a case that, you know, Temple has that Cinderella in them. UAB also beat them by 28 in the first meeting, so make a case either way there, but I think the over 137.5 is the way to go. Like I said, we saw 172 points when these two teams last met. I'm going to take the over here, and that's going to be my free pick. But just a reminder, if you haven't already, make sure you're subscribed to our channel and smash that thumbs up, and if you're looking for my best bets, you can find those at Pick Dogs Premium. While you're at Pick Dogs, check out our betting tools. They're 100% free. They're the best betting tools in the business, and tools that you want to make sure that you have in your back pocket when you're making your best bets for the day's action. And while you're at our YouTube channel, make sure you have notifications turned on so you can be the first to be in the know when the newest content drops here at Pick Dogs. Thanks for watching. See you guys soon.